What up, what up, what up, what up? Good morning, everyone. Thanks again for tuning in with your boy, Coach J. Another episode of Motivated Moments. Let me show you how I got up motivated this morning to take care of a little something. Stay tuned. Good morning, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thank you yet again for rocking with your boy, Coach J, on Motivated Moments. Now, just want to give you a glimpse and for y'all to check out what I have going on here today. You know, this is my fence. The property line goes back there. Uh, it used to look like that. Oh, Dios mio. Oh, Dios mio. And it also used to look like that. I wish I would have started this channel earlier so y'all could see me go through the struggles of dealing with all this debris, vines and wild blackberries that stuck the, you know, beep, 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 beep out of me. <laughs> but this is where I'm going to start my new test plots, you know, so I don't have to use, you know, my backyard as a test plot. And I showed you the backyard previously about, you know, uh, basically the salad bar, but also to show you how some grasses play well together. You can marry some grasses together. And I'm going to show you how I do that here, back here on my test block. But look at that, guys. It used to be like this behind my fence, man. Let me back up some. You see that? All that? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and I... I cleared all of that up uh, this this past winter. You know, uh, Sunshine State, Florida, it, it really doesn't get too cold. So I'd be dang if I was gonna go and clean out any of that brush and debris in the summer. Cause we have moccasins, copperheads, and the worst of them all that we have the pygmy rattler. And you don't want that joker to get a hold of you. It might not survive, actually my neighbor warned me he, he caught one in his in his shoe one morning yeah he saw one, yeah yeah you, you see where i'm going with this but i did this last winter but now you know it's august i think it's august 1st now it's august 2nd Woo! almost time to get back to school it's august 2nd i'm just gonna go back here just touch it up get rid of the needles and all the little debris and, and brush what have you uh, it's wet, so I won't be able to burn it today, probably, but at least I can get back here, rake everything in the pile. Stay tuned with your boy, man. Like, share, subscribe. Tell your brothers, sisters. Tell everybody. At Coach J in Motivated Moments. As I hear, we're putting in that work, man. I'm trying to get it, guys. I'm trying to get it. Let's go. Yeah. All right, guys, let's get it. Look, found Fido's toy back here. Throw it back over the fence. Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all how I got my big ass. Got my big ass up over that fence. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all how I got my big ass over that fence. Let's rock out, man. Let's get this work, man. Let's get this work. Let's get this work, doggy. Get this work. Yeah. Probably can see some of my previous piles where I've been burning stuff. But it's a constant battle. It's all right. Man, somebody got to. Somebody got to put in this work. Like I said earlier, ain't nobody else doing it. Thank y'all so much too for tuning in yesterday. And I showed y'all the natural, organic way to deal with pests in your yard. And full disclosure, all of those spots I showed you were not in my yard. But I had to give you some footage, you feel me? You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? I had to give y'all some footage, you know what I'm saying? You need footage. Everybody need that footage. Oh. Got that whoop. Oh, shout out Whoop, man. Orlando, man. Y'all start sleeping on my dog, Whoop, man. Shout out Whoop, man. Y'all don't know about Whoop. Y'all don't know about no Whoop. I'm telling y'all. 
<laughs> Y'all don't know nothing about Woo. That's my dog. One of my favorite artists. Period. Let alone one of my favorite artists out of Florida. Shout out Woo, man. Y'all sleeping on Woo. I don't know what y'all be listening to. See, I try to get this hard rank for this big stuff. What is this? Oh, a golf ball. I was about to say, oh, shit. A snake egg. Golf ball. Good one, too. Nike. Uh -uh. Get well soon, Tigger. Get well soon, Tigger. Wouldn't that be something if I threw that up there and all you heard was a I, I broke the damn backsliding door? It wouldn't have looked pretty when Big Mama got home. It wouldn't have been pretty. <laughs> Man. Now when I get too deep and get some of these roots and these big stuff, I use the other rate. It's a lot easier. But for this big heavy stuff, y'all know power of this metal, metal teeth, steel teeth, rake. You understand what I mean though. That's it guys. This, this project at least gave me another, I didn't measure it. I measured it when I was uh, trying to estimate for a fence, but I want to say it's at least, at least five to 700 extra square foot. I mean, that's good to get a little five, 10 pound bag and do some, uh, gosh, dog it. Do some reviews and get my test plot and stuff jumping. Bear with me guys, stay tuned, man. Zone nine, Sunshine State, Florida. And I'm preparing for renovation and overseed. Something ain't right. Go back to my first video, man. I quizzed y'all. Y'all ain't taking the quiz. Don't be scared. Because I'm in zone nine. And I don't like that light skinned grass. Y'all seen the D line I'm repping with. Didn't have to say too much. Certain grasses, naturally, the cultivars are darker than others. But I'll let y'all figure it out, man. Stay tuned, man. Your boy getting ready for overseas, August 2nd in Florida. Zone 9, you overseeing? Zone, what? What are you doing? Stay tuned. Stay tuned, then. You want to be nosy? Stay tuned. <laughs> Yeah. Shout out Coco, man. <laughs> the neighborhood, our neighborhood watch. <laughs> Shout out Coco, man. Shoot, ain't nothing gonna slip by Coco, man. Y'all better not come through our neighborhood lacking. Coco gonna get you. And I ain't gonna put her name out there. She know who I'm talking about. That's our neighborhood watch. <laughs> ain't a big A. <laughs> Don't nothing get by her. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That's it. This is a little section, man. And I recently got an estimate as well to get rid of some of these pines to really clear it up some. Wasn't my idea. It was Big Mama's idea. So you know, if Big Mama said said it is gonna get done, I suggest something. It might take jumping through some hoops, doing some some speed ladders, do some drills or something. <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? But she, suge she suggested it. So therefore, nine times out of 10, it'll get done. God forbid I have an idea. You know, I gotta go to an interview process for my ideas. But it's all right. It's all right. It just rained last night, man. It's too, might be too wet for me to burn this. But it's okay. It's okay. Try to get it piled up. At least. Now rock on with your boy, man. 
It's almost time for the little brat to get back to school too. In Florida, we start <laughs> we start in August, not September down here. Actually, tomorrow to be our day. Yep. Tomorrow, August third, man. Back to the real world. Back to the real world. Uh, I just had a switchy switchy. Shout out Uncle T, man. Zach Ray's LLC, man. Yeah, I had to switch it, switch it. You know, I had to switch it, switch it. <laughs> Still, man, same thing, putting in that work, man. And normally I will do like a couple of different piles. Usually this section, take care of the pile here. And I'm just gonna take everything. Like I said yesterday, I always got a midpoint. It's usually this tree right here I use as my midpoint along with the fence. And now I'm just gonna take the other stuff that way and put it in a pile over here. You know, don't want a too big of a pile where, where I have to manage, you know what I mean? Because I am gonna, gonna burn all this stuff. I'm not gonna remove it and haul it and take it to no dump. No, nah, man. I'm burning. And back here is a, is a preserve. No one's ever gonna build back there. It's a preserve, maybe 100 feet back, maybe. 100 yards. It's 100 feet or yards. There's a, uh, there's a creek, a river, a creek, whatever. You know where there's water, there's also exactly, you know it. This Florida. My neighbor had a bear in her backyard uh, a couple months ago, feeding on the, uh, <laughs> feeding on their cat food. Yeah, so y'all gotta be careful, man. Let's go. Oh, that's the neighbor's dog, but you gotta keep your head in the swivel, man. Out here, I'm telling, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Cause they keep building, they're building five neighborhoods or something. They're building a new highway out there. I mean, we're taking up all of the wildlife's uh, habitat. It's crazy. It's crazy. We have more new neighborhoods than schools. Go figure. How you have a brand new school and the kids outside at 20 trailers already? Y'all need to tighten up, man. Y'all need to tighten up. We got a new school and you got 20 trailers out there already. Sometimes you might have to exceed the budget to get back. Man, no, shh, don't, shh, keep your mouth shut. Don't. Don't say nothing. <laughs> we'll build up five new neighborhoods every year. And all you want to do is put bring portables out to the school. Y'all about as backwards as hell. Yeah, I said it. Two bees in a bucket. Bucket. Let's take it to the stage. Bambi and them come through here from time to time too. You got Bambi and her crew, the Deer family, they come through here from time to time. You know, we throw out some pills sometimes for them, orange pills and stuff. I mean, they, we taking up all their habitat, you know? At least I can throw back, give back to the community. <laughs> I'll get back to the community and throw out some orange pills or something, man. They love that, you know what I mean? Just taking up all their habitat and all their land. The least I can do is give back to the community. <laughs> the community of deer. And they actually call it a community too. We want to talk about an uh, ecosystem, things of that nature. We want to talk about primary consumers, secondary consumers. Deer are our secondary consumers. And the bear and uh, bear really don't mess with them too much, but anything that uh, will eat them. Uh, we'll get all of the nutrients and energy that they eat from the from the earth. It's all a cycle, guys. Life cycle. Everything eats. Everything eats everything. Big fish eat the little fish.
Yeah. Cross curriculum to them students if you're watching. Cross curriculum with science. What's a primary consumer? Primary consumer, let me know, man. Extra credit. I know. Do you know? Do you know? Primary consumer. Second part. Stay on the top of the triangle or the bottom of the triangle? I don't know. You tell me. Hey, look at all that good dirt right there. I got a lot of work, guys. Getting, them, getting all these roots and stuff up. Look at all that good black. Get this. Look at that good soil dirt. Obviously, me use burning and stuff and all this ash and biochar, I can use and just spread it out back here, too. Put it back into the earth, right? Give back to the community. That's it. Give back to the community, dog. That's it, guys. Nothing major, man. I'm just putting this stuff in the pile to get ready to burn. Can't do it today because this is wet. Stuff is wet. But dry pine needles? Shh. <laughs> You already know. That stuff will ignite like that. Dry pine? Oh, shoot. That's why I want to do two separate piles. One big pile, I don't know. <laughs> it might get away from me. I might burn the fence. You do, who knows? But if anyone that burns Charles City, if anyone that burns leaves, debris, things like that, no. You know that knees and pine needles and stuff is highly flammable. So look what I got to do, guys. I'm going to get up all these roots. But imagine going through this when it looked like that. Man, it took it basically took me the entire winter to do it. It really did. Fighting all these vines and stuff. And all summer I've been uh, killing this too. Right to say, right to fear, things like that. I've been trying to keep it from growing, because obviously the summertime, if I wasn't back here, hitting it with glyphosate every so often, you know, triclopyr, triclopyr is some good stuff, man. Uh, triclopyr, you know, it would have, what? You know, it would have come back. But every so often, I'm coming out here hitting it with something. You know what I'm saying? It's all right to hit it every so often. <laughs> it's all right to hit it every so often. <laughs> that boy crazy. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not wrapped too tight. But like I said, man, we're going to learn something. Watch a little footage. Put in that work. And have some fun. All at the same time, guys. That's it, man. That's it. We're going to have fun. That's it. This is a little five. I'm going to measure it again. Five to seven hundred extra square foot back here. Gonna be nice, nice project for that blue fire and Georgia blue. What? Uh, Georgia flu, excuse me. Blue fire, Georgia flu. That's what I think I might do back here. Y'all figure it out. Y'all smart. Y'all got an education. I hope. Y'all smart. Figure it out. Blue fire, Georgia blue. Blue fire, noise your flu. Let y'all figure it out. Some of y'all haven't even figured out what grass type I have yet. Y'all fail the quiz. Y'all don't fail the quiz. Y'all don't fail the quiz. I'm gonna send y'all home with a bad grade. Mama or daddy better not call or email me. He said, look man, I gave the quiz. He ain't take the quiz. I can't make nobody, I can't make nobody take the quiz. I just have to give you the opportunity to take the quiz. But I'm not going to sit there and put no gun to your head and make you take the quiz. Y'all should have taken the quiz. You want your credit? Take the quiz. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. Brothers and sisters. See, when I got all this, when I can't get that right through, that's where I go to my backup plan. Because I hear somewhere with them. My back on. Oh, on the other side. On the other side. It's on the other side. Then this is where I've been dumping some of my grass strippers, trying to build it up back here. Because for some reason, the 
water runs off. I mean, it's time, man. I got a lot of work to do, man. A lot of work. But rock out with your boy, man. I'll show you how we get it done. This one, it'll slide a lot easier over the, the roots I have to get up to. It's mainly a bunch of vines, a bunch of vines, poison ivy. But luckily, guys, I can't get poison ivy. Quick story. Me and my uh, college roommate were out in the yard, same exact location, pulling weed. We were both in the same, <laughs> we were both in the same exact location, all right? Out there one day pulling weeds. The next morning, when I see him, this joker was pink. <laughs> it ain't funny, man. It ain't funny, man. Shout out Glock, man. My boy Glock, man. But it was <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't even tell the story now. But that joker, the next morning that joker was pink. Not pink from uh, the rash or not pink from the poison ivy. It looked like the dude took a bath in the in the uh, in the lotion, the calamine lotion, or whatever. That boy, had, I mean, he had that stuff on thick, man. And that joker looked pink, boy. I lost it. But me, I was like, he's like, what else? He said, man, come to find out, man, the weeds we were pulling was poison oak. It was poison. I said, really? I said, well, I said I'm the what? Me? I was pulling it too. What happened? But you know being part Native American, someone who's indigenous, SAT word, someone who's indigenous to the area and to the planet, someone who was basically ancestors owned this land before you know what happened, but you know, for a Native American being indigenous to the area, I'm kind of like, I, I don't understand it, but I can't get poison. God is good, I, I just can't get it. I don't know why. But that was a <laughs> quick funny story, man. That was hilarious. Man, that joker was, was pink. I said, man, what happened, man? Man, that stuff, that stuff that we was pulling, man, I found out it was poison oak. I said, poison oak? I said, man, I, said, I was pulling the same stuff you was pulling. I bet I was like, well, God is good, man. You know, just like, you know, I hate to put it out there, but that COVID stuff, man, it attacks people differently. I hope God's not going to work. I don't want no parts of that either, man. Okay? Sure. You need the vaccine and a mask. Don't get don't get the vaccine and let your guard down. That's what happened, man. Everybody let me guard down. Look, I'm vaccine. I'm, I'm protected. No, that don't mean nothing. That just lessens your symptoms. Still can get it. So someone that got the vaccine they ain't got it and died. So everything works, every every body, everyone's body is different, guys. And I'm not a, you know, I'm not sitting here just going to talk about it a whole lot. But I just wanted to put that out there. Everybody be safe, man. Wear your mask, man. Wear your mask. I still wear mine. People think I'm crazy. End of the school year last year. Oh, get a vaccine. Everybody on mask. Shoot, you know this. This guy. Nah. I don't know these kids. <laughs> I don't know these kids. Keep my mask on. All the time I unmask or I'm eating something or drinking my coffee, then immediately, boop, 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 boop. my issue's on. I ain't playing with y'all people. Thank God for Reverend Ann Johnson, too, man. My mother told you she's a preacher. Reverend Ann Johnson, thank you for your prayers. Baby, baby, love you. I love you. I hey guess that's pretty much it. Obviously, I'm going to have to come in here. You know, and lock this out. I think I'm gonna cut these roots, throw down some more uh, trichopier and glyphosate and try to kill as much as I can. Come in here and uh, cut it some more. I haven't decided whether I wanted to till it or bring in dirt yet, but you see what I'm saying? I got a lot of work, guys. But this is dead, though. It's dead. I, like I said, I've been glyphosate, trichopier all summer. And there's still some that's still trying to pop up. These little suckers. Oh, video drop it, dropping soon, man, about these suckers, man. How I deal with suckers. Video dropping soon. Ah, uh, yet again. Woo.
Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you yet again for tuning in with your boy, Coach J, for Motivated Moments, man. Like, share, subscribe. Tell your brothers, sisters, tell everybody that somebody else is out here doing the same damn thing everyone else is doing. Appreciate your time. Y'all have a blessed day. God bless. Yeah. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, now it's going to give you a little quick little walkthrough. Oh, obviously at the end, you know, I started out with uh, not sponsored by Cobalt or nothing. It's just... You know, not sponsored by Lowe's. I'm a big Jimmy Johnson racing fan, and he was with Lowe's when he raced. So, you know, and 48 was my number. 48's his number, and he's a Johnson, so by default. So I started out with the, with the heavy rake, and then I just went behind it and touched it up with this rake because it wouldn't snag and catch on any of the, the roots. But you see what I'm working with? That's just a pile of stuff I'm using to build up because that water runs off, and it looked like... 700 tunnels of mold mold tunnels but it was just water and i'm just using that to help retain some of that runoff from the water but that's it guys and, you know it really is going to be nice when we get rid of these pine trees big mama suggested not me so big if it was her idea you know it's going to get done she suggested it not me but did i disagree hell no <laughs> property line here and I, obviously i took it back if you notice a couple feet off the property line so when i do have my build the fence and stuff up back here you know still have a little leeway you don't have that stuff the vines and all that stuff growing up uh you know into your into your fence because that stuff could mess up your fence but this is it guys there's the pile yum 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 there's a pile. I can see a lot of roots and stuff I'm going to have to get. That's fine. But this is the line. I'm just going back this way. You no, know, we could have walked it off together and did the math, but it's almost time to get in the house. I, mean, I try to be out and in early. See? That's it, guys. Yeah, but this big daddy got to go right here. God almighty, this is a big, big sucker. But that's it, guys. And then up here. And then you notice I did take it, you know, at least a couple of feet off of this line too, because this is our property line from here up to this fence. And welcome to the jungle. We got fun and game. Yeah, this is what it looked like, guys, before I came in here and cleaned it up. This, and you see it way over there. Just imagine all that ivy and brush and stuff. Like I said, guys, it took me all winter. Thanks again for your time, guys. Appreciate you. Like, share, subscribe. Tell everybody. Coach J, Motivated Moments. Peace. Yep. I'm sorry, real quick. Let me show you how I get my big ass over, <laughs> over this fence. I could if I wanted to, but, you know, respect the neighbors, respect their property. I really could walk around if I wanted, but, you know, I got mad at them for walking the path in my yard, so I tried to not to walk in their yard. You understand what I'm saying? It's just a courtesy thing, respect thing, man. And their neighbors ain't had no respect walking the damn path in my yard. I was y'all, I was all in his face and everything. I don't give a buck. It's my property. But yeah, this is how I'm sorry. I told you I'm ADHD, I'm all over the place. But uh, look at that. This is how I get my big ass <laughs> back and forth over this fence. A step stool and a ladder. So I should record while I go over so somebody can help. No, cause I ain't live, so no one will know. But there's Fido. Hey, Fido. Hey. Hey, look at her. That's Bella Fonte, a.k.a. Snoop Doggy Dog. But this is how I get my big ass over, guys. I'm sorry. Let's go.